right. I can't even see. Whew. Yeah, so, um, this camera's annoying me. I'm literally holding my camera with my scarf, like it's attached with a scarf. That's not very good. Um, so yeah, apparently this uh, Eastern European storm just came over and uh, annihilated the UK. So, I don't know, just talk about life. You know, I kind of like these longer videos where I just walk around for a couple hours. Not many people seem to be uh, outside today because they're afraid of water or whatever. Um, I'm wearing Asda brand socks that are quite thick, so pretty good. Pretty good. I, I'm literally holding the camera up with my scarf, sorry. It's not a good way to film. Oh well, probably see my beard as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so. Man, what a day. <laughs> Probably bring it higher up. That. There you go. See my beard again. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favourite spots. It's just farmland, basically. It's not, not really much else, you know. And I brought my DSLR, but I forgot my SD card. So, man, look at this place. I'm take a photo of my phone. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Just listen to the sound. It's so weird. It's like this ominous hum. What a noise. Phil vlog log. Should probably film the other way. Uh, you know when you buy gloves that say they work in the snow or in the rain and they don't? Yeah. I think the last time I came here, it was uh, really muddy and rainy. I don't think I've ever been here in the snow. Wow. It's like a little cottage over there. Farm there, look at that, beautiful. Someone's beer bottle, obviously. You know, I don't really mind spending a lot of time on these videos, um, even though they get like a thousand views and that's it. Uh, it's a lot more relaxing to, to edit. And, you know, I can look back at these in like a year or two. And instead of just looking at photos, I can look at like the whole video experience, see how that was, you know, walking around for like an hour. It's a lot better. Um, I could also take photos while I'm doing this video. Oh, wow. I've always wanted to move to Iceland. There's something about that place, because I went uh, in 2019, which by the way, I haven't actually made videos for that yet. I've still got footage that I haven't edited. Um, just talking to myself, lol. I went there, the population is like 300,000 for the whole city, but it's so nice there. It's just mountains and peace and quiet. So either that or Oslo, I'd prefer to live there. Do a bit of editing, you know, live in a cool little mountain. Whoa, that's a hole. That's okay. Look at that. Shawshank Redemption. Gonna make sure. Yeah. 
we should end it there. Just bend it a little bit so it doesn't. Yeah. Ah. Let's say once the snow clears up, I'll come here cycling. This, I think this is actually a path, but it's covered in snow, so... There is just uh, a gate. I'm surprised there's not many people here, though. Wow. So where we are, essentially, is the very edge of, like... I don't know, I don't know what to say. What's it called? It's like Essex, or... Is it Essex? It's like Borehamwood, I don't know. Really. Um, right at the edge of the top, essentially countryside, and now I'm in the mud, okay. You can uh, occasionally hear the, the distant sound of a supercar for some reason. Because uh, actually, no, in this area there are loads of mansions. Once I get to that bit, it's just full of... Uh, actually, no, wait, you've seen it already when I came here last time. Not this bit, but you know what I mean. Oh. And uh, we're going to go to... It looks like the Washington Monument, but it's not. It's like a smaller one. It's like a British version monument, obelisk. And if we have time, we'll go to the uh, Japanese garden. If the tree hasn't blocked the path still. Because the last time the tree fell it blocked the path and uh, can get through. Here we have a collection of mortars ready for war. Can't remember how many there are, but this is where they keep them in case, you know, get attacked, so we've got some mortars ready. Look at that. Let's see what it says on the sign. A lot of mortars. Yeah, volunteer tree planting in the mortar is recyclable. I don't know. Mud. Can you imagine something worse than? mud. It's mud and snow. So it's snow on top of the mud. It's even worse. Oh, fuck. Look at that. I just dipped my foot in mud. It's like putting cream on top of chocolate. Whoa. Yeah, so the uh, mortars are blocking my path. It's, ve it's very treacherous here. Oh. I don't want to go on the path there because it's even worse. Oh no, this one died. Oh. Insurance will probably cover it, I don't know. Here we are. The, uh... Holy... field. That's frozen.
think we have asbestos here somewhere. No, sorry, what's good? Stuff you put on crops so they don't die. I don't remember them. Getting snow mice. There is a, uh, a river or something here. Probably frozen by now. No, it's not. It's weird. Da -da -da -da. Nice. Look at that colour, it's just mud. It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, that scene where there's uh, snow and then it's just the chocolate river. Nice. Obelisk is up there, guys. Let's go. Oh. Sorry, my mind goes blank when I'm doing these videos. I don't really know what to say. I'm just like, yeah. I'm walking now. Oh. That's it. I guess, I guess the whole experience is about what you're looking at now, not, not my voice. It's more about looking at this beautiful snow. So the Japanese garden is down there. I don't want to go there first. Go here first. La 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 la. La 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 la. Barbed wire. In case uh, you feel like jumping over this for no reason. Nice. Oh my god. I'm, I'm posting these later, I don't care. These are so stupid. Stupid video of me doing that. Who cares? It's getting pretty cold. guys now that we've done uh, some social media crap that won't do anything for my career let's continue towards the obelisk which is around the corner hope that I don't bump into people that block the view because you know So if you looked at this video without knowing where I was, where would you say I was? Looks like sort of Russia or Germany or New Zealand. You know, I mean, I know nothing about trees. There's like loads of types of trees that you'd see in a certain area region. <laughs> I have no idea. Also, I was thinking of this invention for no reason. Oh, no, I won't tell you actually. Someone will probably steal it. Okay. So, 
There are a bunch of travellers down there. Going down, that path is really steep. I don't know why they're walking down there in the snow. It's like you're asking to fall down. Look at that. <sighs> I would build a house here. It's so beautiful. Look at it. If I had my own land, I mean, ideally, I'd like to live in like Canada somewhere, like this. Have my own bit of land. Maybe like a little a little cabin design or something, and then uh, have my editing room with all the same setup. Uh, a nice cinema sort of area where I can just watch films and all that. Then uh, just open the windows and you get a view of this. Like, it's all I need really. And then at a kitchen, maybe a dishwasher or something. That's all I need. Maybe. I don't know, one of those study rooms to like read, like a library bookshelf and all that. I uh, need a big garage for my bikes. Oh yeah, bike rack. Uh, also I want six acres of land, that's about it, so. Maybe, no, maybe 20. All right, just 50 acres of land. Um, maybe like a hedge around the whole thing. Um, I don't really do swimming, so no swimming pool. Um, that's about it. I mean, maybe a maze, like a no, like a. You know, hedge maze or something. Look at that, that's, that's the view. Fuddle. Not of me. I'm just taking these off, fuck it. Oh no. I dropped it in snow. As a precaution, I'm gonna disinfect it with some uh, cleansing hand gel with something in it, benzene. Which I've run out of, but okay. It smells like alcohol now. I just saw a squirrel. Holy crap. Oh shit. Mad. Ah, okay, I just stepped in mud. I'm gonna clean it off. is muddy. Here we are. Washington DC. Think. It's not even cold to be honest. Quite warm.
What a day. Do you recognize this place? Because I do. It's the, uh, it's the field thingy. Ow. Ow, look at that. When you take photos, it's best to just do like loads of different angles, like shots, sort of compositions. At least that's what I do. Do a zoomed one, do a super zoomed one, do a wide, do like, I don't know, portrait, not really. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to go down the countryside path towards, well actually I don't know, towards a farm or something. Maybe it's not even open. I don't know. We'll see. Look at that, I've got those mortars. Just mortars everywhere. Mortars. Okay. This is a path, so I'm not sure where I'm going. That's the beauty of it, you don't know where you're going, so you don't know where you're gonna end up. And uh, everything you see is new, so you're kind of like, whoa, what's that? Oh, it's just a mortar. Uh, you know, genuine reaction. Oh, there's somebody there, are you serious? Was that a tree? That's a tree. I don't know. Tree. I think I went down that way last time. I don't even know. So, uh, last time I was here, there was a, uh, a military plane that just um, flew over. Which is weird because there aren't any nearby that I know of. Maybe there's one. What's it called? <clears throat> North Alt, is that the name? But that's not really near here, so... Well, well, to be fair, if you're in a plane, it wouldn't be that far, so... Anyway... It looked like it was going to gun me down, so I just walked off, so... Um, yeah... What else did I see? Oh yeah, I saw a packet of crisps last time on the ground. 
It's probably still here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I went left or not. I don't know. Let me check uh, Bing Maps. So if you're ever, uh, if you're ever considering visiting the UK, this is what it's like uh, twice every five years. So just come every five years and you'll get this. Otherwise you'll just get rain or tornado like last time, but uh, yeah. The only reason I'm out at this, in this weather is because this never happens, like at least in this area. The last time it happened was, I think it happened a bit in 2018, but in 2012 it was really bad. So let's say eight years, nine years. Yeah. So you're kind of lucky. Well, it depends if you like snow, you're kind of lucky if you get it a lot. Eastern European countries. Personally, I like snow, so it's a shame that I don't get it as much, which is, why I'm out now. Uh, no idea where I am, to be honest. Like, I say that, I say I've been here already and I just don't know, because I don't remember where I went. I, I, I think I went down the left, but I don't know where it left. You know what I mean? Like, is it there? And then I went like there. Okay, what should we talk about life? Um, hmm. yeah, that's about it, right? I, I always say my mind goes blank, so. Talk about stuff I like. Um, yeah, really, I'm really like interested in how people lived in World War II. Like, uh, the, you know, the areas they lived in, like these cottages and stuff, it was really peaceful. I don't know where I am, seriously. Did I go down there last time? Maybe. I legit don't know. I'm gonna say I went down there. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. If a farmer comes and kicks me off, then that's why. Like it happened in Scotland. That wasn't even funny, like, th this video is yet to be released. It's like a six part sort of video, but. And basically, me and uh, Pick Surprise, this YouTuber that they probably know, we went to Scotland for like three or four days. Can't remember how long. And we drove in the car. Okay, so we get to Scotland. We get to this random field because we want to film some stuff, like just driving and stuff. So we just park up on like a field like this. It's just a field. There aren't any signs saying private land. It's all open. You can just walk in. We actually checked. There was no sign like anywhere in the area saying private land. So we're like, oh yeah, I've been here before. Okay, <laughs> remember that tree. So we're like, all right, yeah, we'll just uh, park here and film. And uh, the bumper came off because we, we drove on the grass and it just came off like, okay. And uh, yeah, suddenly this guy, it's like, you know that Top Gear episode in, in US when they all appear in this truck and they're like, what are you doing? This uh, old farmer guy and his son came in a pickup truck and uh, they started shouting in Scottish like, oi, what are you doing? Get off my land. And uh, I turned around, and I was still filming. I was like, what? And he was like, um, who do you think you are? Yeah, get off there. So we're like, all right, fine, we'll go. But where's the sign that set? Fuck, why did I come here? <clears throat> oh God, it's so muddy. Why did I come on this bit? Yeah, we're like, you, there's no sign. Is there a sign? No. So we, all right, we drove off. We we're pissed off because 
he uh, ruined everything because he was like, yeah, it's my land. All right, put a sign up. We won't park there. Put a gate or something. You just leave it open. Obviously, someone's going to come there. So, yeah, that was uh, the, the ordeal in Scotland. Um, I'm really excited by that video, actually. We went in September. Obviously, I haven't had time to edit yet because I've been doing other stuff. But uh, it's a six-part... I don't know if it's six part, what am I saying? It's a several part video. It's like a road trip. Um, I've, been, I've been meaning to like make more IRL videos, not, not in this channel, but you know, the main one, like more videos where I'm in it, not like an animation. Obviously I still do animations, just I prefer doing these in between, you know? It's like a six minute, what am I saying? Six part, I don't know if it's six part. It's a road trip, it's going all the way from Glasgow to some random place in Scotland. We're driving through the mountains, through the, the rain, through the countryside, it's really nice. GoPros mounted everywhere, one on the dashboard, one on the outside of the car, like on the windshield. And there's rain like pouring in the window because I have to leave it open with a suction cup. We've got DSLR mounted upside down on the dashboard for pick surprise. I've got, I'm holding a DSLR filming to the front, like from inside the car. Oh shit, where am I? Uh, then we've got a sound recorder mounted on the dashboard. So we've got like six cameras or whatever filming this thing. Okay, this is really weird. Why am I here? And like, this looks like radiation. Or some shit. Oh my god. Things I do for videos. Uh was I saying? Yeah, so a lot of footage. I'd say about more than 20 hours of footage to, together. You know, obviously I've... Oh shit, look at my trousers. Fucking hell. It's just mud. Obviously we've got a lot of footage, but not a lot. No, sorry. Obviously I've got a lot of footage, but I haven't edited a lot. So yeah time will come when that will be released. Jesus, look at my legs. Can you see it? Can you see, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, this is a minefield, by the way. It's so cool. Um, yeah, so once lockdown's over here, I guess that's like in a month or two. Although they say that every time, so probably not. I shall book the next plane to Finland. I mean, I'll tell you a funny story about how I got the CPU. So what I did was I ordered the cheapest CPU from eBay, like one pound, literally. And I did that stupidly like three days before the flight because I was like, well, maybe I should get it now or whatever. Uh, so on the day of the flight, it still hadn't arrived. So, oh, look at this. So I was a bit annoyed, uh, but I went anyway on the flight. Yeah, where do I go? Uh, so I tweeted out, has anyone got a cheap CPU who lives in Oslo? And this random bloke was like, yeah, mate, I'll give you my old AMD FX CPU and some RAM. Meet me at Oslo Central Station. And I'll give it to you in a plastic bag. <laughs> I was like, that's the dodgiest thing. Like, imagine someone saw that. The policeman, like, what are they dealing? Oh, it's just a CPU. Like, what? Anyway. He, I, I come there early. I go to the Oslo Central Station, wait a bit. He turns up with a white plastic bag. He comes up to me, he's like, all right. And I was like, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, he gives me the thing. I'm like, yeah, that's nice. Thank you. And uh, we take some random selfie like behind our backs, like that weird cat wrangle. So. And he's like, yeah, I have to go and I'll see you. And I was like, all right, and that was it. I think he lived like a while away, like an hour. So he traveled all that way just to give me a CPU. So that video wouldn't have happened without him. Oh, shit. And uh, turned out to be a really, well, quite successful, I'd say. How many views has it got? It's got 300,000, so. What is this on my shoe? It's like a ball. Look at that. What is that? It's a ball of mud. So yeah, that was uh, the Via. Jeez, what am I doing? <laughs> if I had con if I had Converse, I'd be dead. My shoes are messed up. I need to get more ice on them. How to get mud off, just kick your shoes. The water will melt the mud. Oh. It looks like I've been dropped from like a military plane, like an airborne parachute or something, you know what I mean? It's like I've been parachuted into war. It's like Saving Private Ryan, like in some French village. This uh, mud is getting annoying now. I can't walk. You know what you need? Those tennis racket shoes. It's a bit better. Okay. GoPro only has a certain amount of battery. I have like four spares. It's one of them. Wow. This is the life, man, look at that. That's my ideal sort of location. Look at that house there. The little, little cottage, it's, it's big enough for you and your family. You just park it there. You've got a whole field for yourself. You're just surrounded by this. You know, there's no, there's no violence or anything, there's no crime. Maybe the local farmer will steal your cabbage, but that's about it. The local grain silo down there for your food. You know, go to a local garden center, get all your stuff. Grocery store, maybe five, 10 minutes drive. And you just live like that, like nice and peaceful. You got good internet, good, uh, you know, fireplace, decent bedroom, you know, you can invite friends over and all that. That's how it is, man. Uh, and you're literally 30 minutes from the city, you just drive to the station down there somewhere. It's like 20 minutes from here. And uh, you take the train, that's it. But uh, look at that, it's just beautiful. That's my uh, dream. I mean, maybe not, maybe not here, I don't know where I'd be, when I'd end up in like five years, but that's, uh, that's, like, that's my ideal place. You know, it's big, big cities, I actually, I kind of like them anyway, like Oslo, the city sort of life is cool. Depends what city you're in. If you're uh, in a really busy city like I don't know, New York or whatever, some people might not like that. You might want a bit more peace and quiet, a bit more space. Um, Oslo, you can get, I guess, well, where I said in Oslo, there was a place that was 10 minutes from the city and it looked like a countryside, so that was cool. But uh, this sort of home is, they're probably looking at me right now saying, what is this guy doing, talking to himself? Just uh, relax on the farm. It's like Emmerdale. Yeah. That's life. Hmm. It's getting windy now. 
where we head up. Uh, the main road is there, so I want to get to the end. That'll be it. I don't really want to go there because I don't know if it's private. This is not private. That sucks though, like everything costs so much money. If she wanted that house there, that'd be a million pounds in London. That is a million pounds. It doesn't look like it. You think it'd be like, I don't know, what are the prices in America for the house that big? I don't know the price, maybe it's like half a million or something, whatever. But even, even a smaller building like that, and say if you've got one in central London, like a little flat, there's this really small building in London. It looks like, it looks like that, but smaller. It costs 50 million. 50. It's a little townhouse. I'm not sure why it's 50 million. It looks disgusting inside. It's like broken chairs from eBay inside. And then you get, uh, like, in America, you get this really beautiful, like, you know, the, ho the Home Alone house, that sort of thing. It's like, it's probably a million or less. Maybe 200,000, 300,000, I don't know. And it's huge. And uh, yeah, obviously it's different materials. Maybe it's wood, not brick like here. But still, that's just too much, man. Who's gonna have a million for that? What do I do in the meantime? Yeah, you know, just live in some shack or something. Yeah. Hopefully uh, this has been recorded. I don't know if it's even live or whatever. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the dream. Obviously I've got freelancing, but that's not going good at the moment because uh, there's no, no one really hiring now, obviously. Is that a mouse? It's a mouse. Uh, yeah. Let's take out the camera and just record myself a little bit. I do like this more, a bit more interactive, like above my head, like that, below my chin. Would you prefer it mounted onto my chest? Let me know. Or would you prefer it when it spins like this? Let me know. This is what I've been walking all day. I don't know if it, if it showed up on the uh, <laughs> the camera. But that's what I've been walking on all day. Big mess. Alright, so I'm gonna have to walk uh, a while to get back. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Well guys, it's been great. Um, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching this long video. And uh, enjoy the snow, it won't snow for another two years probably. See ya.